the Denver Broncos have added some depth to their tight end room. It was announced today by the team bringing in this article from Eric Dalala that they have signed former Chargers tight end Hunter Camp Moyer. In a corresponding move, they have waived undrafted rookie defensive tackle Brandon Matterson. Um, Camp Moyer was an Oregon alum, but he did not correspond with Bo Nix's time at Oregon. He came into the NFL as an undrafted free agent in 2021 with the Chargers, where his offensive coordinator was current Broncos offensive coordinator Joe Lombardi, and he appeared in one game during his rookie season. He played another game last year in 2023. For much of the last three seasons, he competed on the Chargers practice squad. In preseason in 2021, he recorded nine catches for 85 yards and a touchdown. 6'4", 243 pounds, 20 passes caught for 200, 224 yards and four touchdowns in 45 career games at Oregon. If you just look at his build... Seems more like the blocking type, so possibly he's coming in to challenge the Adam Troutmans and maybe the Nate Atkins of the world, but both I feel like have played quite well in training camp, so I don't exactly know why they would make this move, unless they just felt like they wanted to add some more depth and some more competition, but in terms of maybe pushing a particular player, the only guy tight end-wise that I can think isn't really playing well in camp that really stands out is Thomas Yasmin, the undrafted rookie out of Utah, but he's more of a receiving type, and Camp Moyer, if you just look at him, he looks like essentially almost a sixth offensive lineman, so I don't think that this is to push Yasmin per se, but you never know. It's going to be something to really keep an eye on over the next few weeks, especially as we go through the preseason, because this tight end competition at the back end of the roster, Nate Atkins, who's kind of the hybrid tight end fullback. You've got obviously guys like now Hunter Camp Moyer in the mix. Lucas Kroll is pretty much a lock to make the roster. Same with Greg Dulcich. Same with Adam Troutman. And then you've got Yasmin, who really hasn't stood out much during camp, but maybe he will stand out in the preseason. So this tight end room is going to be really, really interesting to monitor as we go through training camp. All right, Broncos country, let me know in the comments section below. What do you guys think of this edition of Hunter Camp Moyer? And do you think that he has any shot of making the roster? Probably practice squad, realistically. He doesn't really have a shot to make the active roster. But do you think that he has a shot to make the practice squad? Drop those comments down below, guys. I would love to hear your thoughts, as always. Be sure to leave a like on this video as well as subscribe to the channel. And until next time, guys, I am your host, Gage Madrid, saying peace out.